Okay, so this is my solution for retargeting my character mesh into the third person shooter kit. Uh, this is actually relatively easy and quick to do, and I'll just go ahead and show how I did it. So I went, now my meshes are completely modular, so do bear that in mind, but if your mesh is just one single thing, I don't think there should be any difference, but just in case. So I just took my character mesh, went back to the third person, SKM, mannequin. So I just took this and this and exported them. Now I already have them exported, so. So I exported them, let me just re-import them both, this is the actual finished one, okay, import the SKM. Sorry, I pressed export. Uh, there it is. All right. So basically, first thing you're going to want to do, I can actually go ahead and delete this one, is get rid of these little, I don't know what to call them. I'll just call them floaters because they're annoying. Bring that back down to scale. Move it to the side. Get rid of this floater. Sorry, I don't know the proper term for that thing. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this guy and remove all of his vertex groups and clear the parent and then I'll have to bring them back down to scale real quick. Okay. Now I can just go ahead and delete this. Now I'm gonna take this one, select that. We're gonna go to weight paint, transfer weights, there's face interpolated by name and that should have transferred all of them yep there's all of the different vertex groups so I can now just go ahead and delete that and take this and control P with automatic weights and then go ahead and rename this uh, to root. And then I can just take this, export as an FBX. I'll just name it test again. And make sure that selected groups, you can turn that off. Uh, you can leave it like this, it's fine. Uh, we need to add leaf bones and then just export that. And I go back over here, action trooper. Skeletons, and as you can see, I, I've already done this before, but I just wanted to go ahead and redo it from the beginning just so it's a little bit easier. Sorry, let me go through my files and get it. Okay, so I'm importing it, and then I'm actually going to use the SKM. Sorry, it's the SK mannequin. 
Uh, yep, 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 yep. Do not create material. That's all good. Import it. Okay, whatever. We don't care. And skidoosh. So he w already has everything that he needs, and I can go ahead and add the materials from literally here. Paste. Copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Save that, and then just prove that it works. I go to the VP character mannequin, the viewport, go to the head, and test again, compile, and boom, it works. Um, if you have a modular approach, I set the master pose component and have the mesh be the new master bone component. So I don't actually have to go back into Blender for each one of these body parts. Technically I could, but since this head is the master component, it serves the purpose and works for all parts of the body and just basically dictates everything for them. As you can see, all the animations do, in fact, work. This is, I'm pretty sure, basically how it's supposed to look and everything. Uh, I just missed those errors. That's just because I went into that weird... Thing works. Thanks.